I think Greece is the most underrated country to give Schengen visa, but has the easiest process on the visa application. And I'm saying this because I have experience in application for Schengen visa to different countries in Italy, in Netherlands, and now in Greece. And I got my visa to Greece, which is Schengen visa, within a day. Like, I took my documents today at 11 o'clock. And by 1, by 12.30, actually by 12.30, I had my visa at hand. Can you imagine? Can you believe? And not only that, I feel it also very cheap. It doesn't require so many attachments if you provide just the document that they are um, it doesn't like require you to do this different test provide polio i don't know polio vaccine or anything is the most straightforward visa application process i can say that i've experienced in europe so far maybe you can prove me wrong if you had another experience but to me, I've never had something this easy. It seems like too good to be real. So, um, yeah, I got my visa today and uh, I'm traveling to, to Athens. Athens, is it Athens or Athens? Athens <laughs> in Greece for a conference. So I'm going to share with you the whole process, how I did it. And one thing I need to let you know is that the payment you pay around, you pay 80 euro, which is um, almost like 10,000 Kenyan shillings. And you pay it in cash. And I started by first last week sending all the documents. Actually, I sent them on last week on Friday. Um, all the, I, I filled the form, I scanned it and attached all the documents that I required and I sent to them. And yesterday they called me and booked appointment with me and after booking appointment they told me to go at 11 and can you imagine they also had gone through the documents and told me okay your insurance is not very clear when you're coming make sure you indicate or you clearly highlight the specific area uh, that you are covered on your medical insurance and that was it so not only that it's easy and um, a straightforward process they also call you tell you like the document you sent are enough or are not enough so with that you don't have to start crossing your fingers no uh, without knowing whether you're going to get visa or not because they they tell you whether you've submitted all the documents some other uh, uh, application centers especially when you apply through visa application center they never tell you anything. They just you just submit your documents. They just process them and they tell you nothing because they don't make the decision. There's no visa processing fee. Like there's no amount that you're going to pay at the application. Once you have the Schengen visa, if you apply from whatever country that you're applying from, and you get the Schengen visa. Uh, to Greece, you can be able to travel any other country within the Schengen area. I think it's between 23 to 26 seconds. I don't remember the exact number. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are. And if you're new here, my name is Eunice Dampi and I film videos about my experiences as a migrant, self-growth and development videos, and also videos about studies abroad. If you've been following me, you know that I'm a PhD student and on my fourth year in Italy. And um, this year or um, in August, end of August, I'm supposed to attend a conference in Greece, in Athens, Greece. And for me to attend this conf uh, co conference, I need either to have a resident permit, which is like a Schengen area resident permit, which is valid, or I need to apply for a visa. And because my resident permit expired in July, end of July, 
and I applied for new one or for renewal or the resident permit and is still not yet um, processed, I had to apply for visa to go to Greece. So one thing that you need to do for the application of visit visa in Greece is that you need to download the form and fill it manually. And I find the form very simple and very short to, uh, to fill. And it just requires personal details. Then it also asked about your passport details. It asks about your address and uh, the current occupation that you are in and the, your employer where or the institution that you are in if you you going through your company and then it also ask for the purpose of your visit so there are different um reasons for visit and they even give you the options here the first you can visit as a, a for tourism for business visiting family or friends for cultural event for sports official visit medical reason study aircraft uh, airport transit and ever any other you specify so for me because it's a, a conference that is not a study i just indicated as other which is a, a rc21 conference and that is it and then you give a detail there below the uh, clarifying the, the event the purpose of the stay and that's it that, that's actually that's all about it and then you give um date when you are traveling and then the date that you're leaving the country and then they also ask you whether you have a uh, recent visa uh recent approved visa that you've used over the last few years or few months i, I think and then you also provide accommodation where you will be staying you give address of that that's it on the form so Apart from filling this form, there are several other things that you need to provide for uh, the visit visa application. And the second thing is that uh, apart from the filled form is that you need to give travel uh, document or um, passport. You need to provide your passport, which should have pages whereby they can put the visa. You need to provide certificate of employment or studies. If you are employed in your country, you need to provide that, like show that you are employed uh, by a certain company and they have given you um, leave to go leave. Um, because I think purpose of this is to show that you are coming from a place or organization and after some time you are going to go back. So this is a um, certificate that your employer gives maybe they, they they say they have given you a leave for one month or a leave for two weeks so that is important you give salary or pay slips uh, you also provide bank details which is very important and they should be stamped by your bank and then uh, what else uh, i'm reading the 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 the, uh, the list here that's why you see me looking down on on my laptop and then you need to provide prepaid hotel reservations. So for me, I just went to the booking.com. I booked for a um, hotel that has free cancellation just in case things don't go the right way. You also need to provide flight bookings, return tickets, that is to and fro return tickets. You need to provide um, travel medical insurance. And I've been talking to you about medical insurance. For you to provide a medical insurance, maybe if you're in Kenya, you need to go to the organization that have travel uh, medical insurance and they will provide you with a specified dates of your travel. And that's what you provide for the application. And after you have all those documents and you have the field form, you just book appointment, you get appointment with the greece embassy or the consular and then you go and take your biometrics yes and i forgot one thing you need to provide also um a colored passport which is just one you need to provide one colored passport photo yeah because for me i'm a resident in italy um i only got a visa that is one entry so if you are resident within europe i think um it will be hard for you to get 
mult multiple entries because you're already a resident and the reason why i was applying for these visas is because my resident permit is expired and i cannot travel out of italy without a visa or without my resident permit so because visa was the easiest way to get to the conference that i'm attending i applied it and i got it within a day yeah so um if you're within schengen area and you you want to go to another country and your resident permit is expired i think you can apply for visa but you might get just one entry to the country that you're going and uh, but if you are applying from outside schengen or outside europe all schengen visas come with multiple entries and this one was just actually just normal tourist visa so that's it for visa application to greece and if you have any question let me know if i missed anything also let me know on the comment section below if you have any experience or difficulties or if you think also this is the easiest visa you can apply for let me know that's it for this video thank you very much for your support every time i post a video and please continue supporting me through subscribing through commenting through sharing and liking the video so yeah until the next one bye bye